Hello everyone, welcome to Everything Arsenal. Let's get the latest transfer news. Arsenal have been able to complete two outgoings and the first one is Nuno Tavares. According to reports from Fabrizio Romano, Nuno Tavares to Lazio, here we go. Verbal agreement on five-year contract just switched deal until June 2029. Nuno will travel this weekend for medical if all goes to plan with formal documents. Arsenal receive 9 million euros, loan with mandatory buy clause, but sell on plus sell on clause. So Nuno Tavares, um, he's heading to um Lazio. And to be fair, I think this is a really good deal in terms of Arsenal not being able to sell players, you know, um, Arsenal having not done a lot of business so far this transfer window. This is a very good sale. This is definitely a very good sale. I don't think you'd have expected to get 9 million euros for Nuno Tavares. That's basically um, almost the same as we paid for him, plus a sell-on clause. So if he goes to Lazio and he does incredibly well and he gets sold for 40 million in the next two years, we get a little bit from that as well. I think this is a really good sale. It never worked out for him at Arsenal, but uh, when we signed him, um, and Lokonga did say, it's good to sign younger players, even though we are not sure about them, um, especially the cheaper ones, not for like 50 million, not splashing 50, 60 million for a player you're not sure about. No, if you're buying like a young player who's done well at Benfica for 8 million pounds, you know, at, at the time where you need a left back, if he comes to us and it doesn't work out, you can always um, sell them on later. We're actually able to do that with um, with uh, Tavares and you could actually end up making a profit from this deal not because he's been very, very good, but because, you know, he's young, he still um, you know, has a few things, um, a few qualities about him and other teams could see it. Maybe just didn't work out for him in England with Arsenal and Nottingham, but he did okay at Marseille and maybe can go to Lazio and do um, well. Now, the thing is, we're not getting the money immediately. Um, it's a it's a loan first, and then they're going to buy him next season. But we will receive nine million euros, which is um great business. And then the sell on closers um Fabrizio said is going to go there uh, on a five year contract. So well done to him. Um, I thought in terms of players we would struggle to sell. I thought Tavares and um Tierney would be very um difficult to sell. I knew maybe Lokonga would get a team. You know um. Get you get a team, Smith Road get a team if you sold those players. But I was worried about TNE and Tavares uh, potentially moving on. I was thinking might actually end up cancelling their contracts like we've done with a lot of players over the last 10 years. But no, we are actually going to sell him, which is um, which is great. Now, for Tavares, the fact that he hadn't had a good time at Nottingham, hadn't had a good time at Arsenal, and his contract is expiring next year, it was pointing out to be not a very good sale. If he didn't, if he didn't get sold this transfer window right now, there's no way you can sell him any other time, maybe January, but that would be like 2 million, 3 million or something. So it's great that you've been able to convince um, Lazio to pay that kind of money because a couple of days ago, it was reported that um, Lazio only willing to like pay 5 million, 6 million euros, but that has totaled up to 9 million euros, which is a great sell. Um, so Nuno Tavares, all the best to him at Lazio. Um, the medical will be done as long as you've agreed um, terms with um, Lazio. We are, we are not the ones who are involved in his medical. So all the best to him over at Lazio. That is a, um, no, the first, not, not really. Uh, yeah, I think the first in terms of sale, um, this transfer into most of the players that have left have left on a free, the likes of Cedric and El Nini. But all the best to Nuno Tavares. That's not the only here we go from Fabrizio Romano. We have another one. Um, this time, Albert Sambilo Conga to Sevilla. Here we go. Deal in place with Arsenal on loan move for the midfielder. Sevilla will cover his salary with 12 million buy option clause also um, included in the deal. Medical already put. Now, first of all, the difference between Tavares and Lokonga, um, both of them are going on loan. But um, Tavares is a mandatory to buy, so they have to buy him next season. He can't come back to Arsenal. But um, for Lokonga, it's an option to buy. So if they feel like he hasn't really played well for them, they can send him back to Arsenal. Um, but the thing is, that the, the another difference is Lokonga has two years remaining on his contract. Tavares only had one. So if Lokonga doesn't work out for him at Sevilla next season, we can try and do like a Tavares deal and try to get him somewhere else for 9 million, 10 million or something, if possible. But um, the two, there's a difference. Contract is expiring um, earlier for Tavares and um, Tavares is a mandatory to buy and Lokonga is an option to buy. So we have to hope that he goes there and he does well for Sevilla so that they buy him. Um, they will cover his salary for this season. Um, and my medical is already booked. So same with Tavares. We bought them at the same um, same time back in 2021. Just like Tavares, I did say the same thing with Lokonga. But Lokonga was a bit more promising when you were signing him. You know, you had captained this team over in Belgium and you were thinking, you know, it could be a midfield solution. But to be honest, as I've always said again, 
we've moved on very quickly from those years 2021 you were struggling to get into the top six you know trying to get back into the top four our our targets are very very different since then up to now we are now competing with man state trying to compete with Bayern Munich and Real Madrid in the Champions League so we very quickly moved on from players like Lokonga players like Tavares and um yeah it never really worked out for them at Arsenal so good luck to both of them um Lokonga though Lokonga could be back next season if he doesn't perform at Sevilla Tavares is a good buy completely it's going to be bought next season but for um Lokonga it's not um a full buy it's uh it's an option to buy so hopefully does there um goes there and he does well and he performs david Anstin had this to add arsenal have a 25 percent sell-on clause in severe deal for albert sambila conga applies if loan from arsenal turns permanent and midfielder sold in future fiorentina prepared higher bid but 24 year old only wanted severe so fiorentina are giving us more money but um Lokonga decided to go to Sevilla. I don't know. Hopefully, it's not something crazy like 19 million, and he, and uh, he, cho- he chose um he chose Sevilla. But it's up to him at the end of the day. He's not going to play at Arsenal, so it's up to him which team he wants to join. Um, Sevilla and um, Fiorentina both good teams. Both of them, you know, regularly get to finals in the Europa League and um and Conference League. So whichever is fine for his um career. Um, and I think he feels like Sevilla is a better like you know place to live and better place to play and um i don't know if Sevilla are going to make it permanent though the fact that we have a sell-on clause as well for 25 percent unless it goes then it becomes their best midfielder totally it, that doesn't seem like a really good deal for them if they buy him for 12 million and then we have a 25 percent sell-on clause i feel like they would just say even if he performs well i feel like if they, they would just say nah we're just like, just going to let him go back to us because Let's say they come and sell him for 100 million. We are going to get 25 million from that. So that, that would be very interesting. But hey, all the best to Lokonga as well. Now, what is happening with Edding Ketia? The others we've gotten are here we go. But what is happening with Edding Ketia's um, deal? So according to Court Offside, um, as Court Offside understands that Marseille are preparing an opening offer in the region of 25 million euros for Edding Ketia. Arsenal, however, are understood to value him at closer to 35 million to 40 million euros. So I really doubt us not going to let him go to 25 million euros. I think if if teams continue offering 20, 22 million, I think Ketty will not go anywhere. I think he'll still be here next season. And I don't know if he'd want to do that. I know fans wouldn't want him to stay. And I don't know if he'd want to stay and just be like the third, fourth option from the bench. That would not be great for his career. If he wants to, you know, revive his career, he needs to go elsewhere and do well. And teams like Leicester want team, teams like Marseille want team, teams like Fulham want team. I think it would be better for him to move on to somewhere different and go and play. I always believe like if he goes to a place where he plays 38 games out of 38, like Marseille, for example, he can go and get them 13 goals in a season. And um, he can go there and, um, and do well for himself. You know, I want the Helen boys and the Liva Arsenal, the likes of Nketi and Nelson and Smith Rowe, they go and do well wherever they're going. And um, for Ed Nketi, he's one of them, but the, the fact is we, this is one of the few players that we can get um, a significant man, amount of money for. The likes of Tavares and Lokongo would not have been able to crack 15 million. Um, if you're selling Tini today, we might struggle to get 10 million. Um, if you're selling... Um, a few others as well. It would struggle to get money. The only players you can really get money for are Ramsdale, Kivy, and Ketty, and players like that. Even Nelson teams are not really going to offer 20 million plus. That's the problem. So um, Arsenal wants that 5 to 40 million euros. Um, Arsenal may feel they're in a strong position to hold out for uh, more money, as well as Marseille. And Ketty is also attracting interest from Brentford, Palace, Everton, West Ham, Wolves. So those are a lot of teams. Leicester as well. Sources believe these clubs could also make moves for him soon. So that's a lot of money. But those teams that are listed there, I don't know if it's any of them is going to come and pay 35, 40 million. But but um, at least we have like seven, eight teams looking at adding Kete. That's that, that's the start. Usually, three, four years ago, and you're trying to sell players like Socrates and Mustafi, there was no one who wanted the players like David Luiz. At least right now, Lokong has been linked to several teams. Tavares has been linked to several teams. Um, Kete has been linked to several teams. Smith throw Nelson is good that uh, they're able to attract a, a bit of um, you know suitors um, for them. But I think for this one, we also have to stand firm. You know, Chelsea, I want to sell players like Proja for 40 million. Why can't you sell Kete for 35 million? If United are selling Martial today, they would ask for 40 million, a player who hasn't played for four years. So why can't we also get that? So 
30 million euros if you can get that that Arsenal wants up to 40 I don't think you're going to get up to 40 unless there's add-ons included for later if you can get a decent package then you can let him go I think it would be better for him to move on um adding Kete so let's see how that one goes as well but um in terms of outgoings um deals are slowly starting to happen um but what um is going to happen with Aaron Ramsdale will he leave as well another player that you can get a significant money for but there's no team that has tabled any offer for him according to um Ghana blog if Aaron Ramsdale does go the man identified to replace him at Arsenal is 23 year old Spaniard Juan Garcia both in Akitkana and um club have determined that Garcia is a suitable profile to debutize for David Raya Garcia previously had a buyout clause of 15 million um but Espanol's promotion meant that rose to 25 million so we are looking at Garcia as our second choice goalkeeper for next season to be linked to a lot of goalkeepers but those are like third options and if Ramsdale does go that's the thing they're saying if Ramsdale Ramsdale does go. At the moment, there's no team that has placed an offer for Aaron Ramsdale. Arsenal wanted close to 50 million pounds, uh, 50 million euros or something pounds, I think. We are not going to get that for uh, Ramsdale, especially the teams that want him. If it was Real Madrid and Bayern that wanted Ramsdale, then we could have gotten that kind of money. But the fact that it is, um, you know, the lower league, uh, the lower like teams in, in terms of the Premier League, you're not going to get that kind of money. So um, it, it, he also goes on and said the club are not expected to progress with the deal until a buyer for Ramsdale comes forward. So we are not going to get Garcia until uh, we get someone to buy um, Aaron Ramsdale. I think the most you can get for him is maybe the same money that we paid for him, maybe around 30 million. I don't think you're going to get 50 million. If he had played last season, uh, maybe, you know, 10 games at least, and you're done well, then we can say that. If you are selling him two years ago, we would have sold him for that kind of money. But the fact that he's been on the bench for Arsenal, never plays for England, you know, the two, three games he played, he made a couple of mistakes. I don't think any team will come and pay that 50 million for him, unfortunately. But let's hope that we can get some, uh, uh, get someone to buy him. For me, I don't mind if Ryan Ramsdale stayed, but it looks like we want Juan Garcia to be a, de a deputy goalkeeper. They're already looking to the future. In their heads, they've already sold Ramsdale. So I think Ramsdale wants to go and be a fast choice goalkeeper. I think he's a very good sh short stopper, a very good goalkeeper. It would be beneficial for him to go and be a fast choice goalkeeper elsewhere. And I think he would go and be a fast choice goalkeeper elsewhere. Out of the 20 teams in the Premier League, I think Ramsdale can start for at least 15 of them. So let's see how it goes. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch up with you guys on the next.